of the Prime Bank BPL 2013. It's between Chigong Kings and Duranto Rashahi. So this is day two of the BPL and we are ready for the toss. This is the afternoon game, the first one today. And we've got Mahmoud Allah Riyadh who is captaining the Chittagong Kings. And we've got Tamim Iqbal for Duranto Rajshahi. Mike Proctor will oversee everything. The coin, uh, Mohamed Allah is going to spin. Heads is the call. And it's a head. It's a head. Um, so Duranto Rajshahi, Tamim, you won. What's it going to be? I'll be back first. Good match. Uh, there are the two teams, and it's a pleasure to welcome uh, Russell Arnold alongside me. Good afternoon, Russell. Good afternoon, Shamim. Good afternoon, everybody. So we are ready to go. He's uh, led from the front, and it comes to opening the batting for his country. Kamil Iqbal is expected to give uh, his team a good start. Here we go. Down the left side, tucked away, straight up, but. Uh, That'll give him a good feeling just to get a run of the very first ball. They've gone through quickly and it's a direct hit, an appeal. And here's the umpire going to the third umpire. This is uh, going to be close. Duranto Raj Shahi are going to struggle with this one. Shamim, I've made up my mind. We don't want to listen to it yet. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty close, <laughs> Russell. Well, I think he's struggling. I agree with you, definitely. I think that bat's just on the line. Yeah, this angle might be. This angle is a little tough because the point that uh, the umpire needs to make the decision is when the bail is dislodged. But the other angle is much more clearer. Thing behind the line. Yeah, and that's the first wicket down. Very unfortunate way. In the previous over of the last ball, here's Sean Tate. Experience for you. Wow, that's wayward to say the least. A real loser. That's better. Straight back into the right areas. That's for him. Well, that could have been close. That's given him four extra runs. Where they start. Turn the wickets, gives him the charge. The ball's high up in there. Mahmoudullah coming underneath that one. Is he going to get to it? He does. That's a brilliant take. He had to cover a lot of ground. That was expected. He needed to do something to break the shackles, Moin Ali. Giving Jacob Oren the charge, but he called early. He called the fielder converging on the ball off. He said, it's all mine. And hang on to it. Well, Moin Ali goes without score. And Tamim Iqbal. He's been in the international fall for, for a while. Got a couple of slips. Not the most confident looking shot, but it's got him a run. All the time in the world. Bit of communication gap there. On the leg side, whipped away, whipped uh, past square leg for four runs. Great shot to finish the over. Four completed. It's 30 for two. An appeal. Pleading appeal from Jacob Orem. Jacob Orem also gets that ball to bounce quite a bit. It's that height of his. Just, uh, as you said, pitching outside the line of leg. Actually, you do on a by Korea, the Potom Jajinista could drishti to put a less crowd. Less crowded, but a hoche. Tickets are high price, particularly galleries. But this, take a look at this for a catch. Actually, this is probably one of the most difficult catches you'll see because Muhammadullah Riyadh was thinking that somebody else is going to take it. I th think he heard a wrong call. And then when he went for it, he didn't look like taking it, Adar. It's a good presence of mind. He's a very good cricketer, Muhammadullah Riyadh, and picks up the big fish. <laughs> Not being able to break free, uh, tried to hit one over the top and miscued it. But what a catch. In the air, and that's wicket number four. Mohamedullah Riyadh, take a bow. What a performance he's putting up. And we couldn't even show you the man who's just come into bat. It was Ziaur Rahman. And he's gone. Uh, it's uh, Sean Irwin uh, on strike. And uh, what 
just an awkward bounce might have just stopped and bounced a little bit more than anticipated but that's a soft dismissal and it's once again the captain from Chittagong Kings leading from the front picking up two and two Sean Honorin has to depart it's a 33 for four but we need to build up a nice little partnership they're more than capable of you take a look at that shot short and wide put away for a boundary what a player he's been throughout his uh, lifetime and he's now there as a mentor ambassador brand ambassador for the Chittagong Kings he's gone he's got him outside the off stump flirting with it just managing to get a nick and uh, that's made Lara happy very loose shot way out outside the off stump just wanted to flirt with danger and paid the price he's a happy man Ravi Bupara and why not that's gone up in the air could have easily gone to one of the feelers but has gone through could be a welcome boundary and it is that boundary this is the one that kept low just take a look at where it pitches there's a puff of dust there the, the top is a little let's say puffy dusty didn't look like that when you first saw it just not rolled enough Doing it quite nicely. It went down the pitch inside edge. That's what we were talking about. Fifth fielder inside the circle behind square. And you pay the price. I know it's unlucky, but they'll get, be more than happy to get it. Really, that fielder at fine leg has got to be at the circle. Uh, got to be deep there because it uh, makes no sense to have him up. That's not an attacking position at all. Long off. It's beautifully balled, struck on the pad, and it's given. Fantastic piece of delivery. It was a passive delivery. Beating him all ends up. It moved out, and he was absolutely plumb. This is a terrifically bold delivery. There we go again. That's another wide. That's what I'm talking about. He's found it very difficult to control that uh, line. No run, no run. No run, yes run, run out. Oh my goodness. Oh dear, that's been happening much too often in this innings. The girls to do their action. That was outside the off stump. He was always going for the head single, but at the non-striker end, Mukhtar was never ready. And then the look of despair towards his partner. They are in deep troubles at the moment. Trachai 66 for 7. Abul gone after just contributing 4. Scored off the bat. Bye. 82 for 7. Just have to see if that ball did turn. Pitched in line for sure. Yes. That's brilliantly bold. Pitching on middle, straightening down the line. More troubles. More Raj Shahi. Naim Islam Jr. Just the seven runs. It's 82 for 8. Got a job in his hand at the moment. Needs to make sure that he partners uh, Mukhtar Ali, who is addition. At the moment, has looked out of sorts. Australia. But that team can only get better too. So it's a long tournament, and another run out on the cards. It's far too many misunderstandings. This time, the third umpire not needed. Ran all the way across and made his way back for the second run. The other batsman should have been responding. Gets the uh, Chudong King supporters uh, on their feet and why not? Big misunderstanding. He's saying no, he's not looking at his partner. All he's doing is running around. And you know, I have to go run around to back uh, to the pavilion. Big mess up. Nigel uh, Islam has to go back, run out for three. Four problems for Rashai, 89 for nine. Uh, it's uh, Mukhtar Ali who's on strike and he's the one who scored uh, the highest number of runs in his in, in this inning so far. Fast and straight. 
superb delivery, but that has gone uh, for a boundary. Superb shot. Dug it out. A dot to finish. Over. Duranto Rashai finishes at 99 for 9. Options. And they've hurt Duranto Rajshai, who won the toss and elected to bat first. Just unable to make it count. Wickets being lost early. That's put them under pressure. Tamim, the big wicket. He made 17, but Mukhtar, the top scorer, down at the bottom. The end only 99 for 9. Jacob Oram, 1 for 15. Uh, Chon Tate were expensive, but look at the figures of Mahmudullah, the captain. Three overs, two for 17, and two wickets to Bopara. Very economical spells from Arfat Sunny and Enamul. Bowler, three overs and two overs each.